The video that you are seeing right now was shot very late at night using this thermal imaging camera which essentially turns night into day. Thermal imaging has plenty of uses such as security, animal observation, but also the inspection of anything that generates any amount of heat like the engine bay on a vehicle or the central gas furnace on my house. Let me show you how it works. And as always, I'd like to remind you that I place a link in the description down below to this product in case you'd like to get one for yourself. And the thermal camera comes in on this semi-rigid case, which is gonna be great for protection. And it simply zips up to open, and we have the thermal camera and a couple of accessories. And I will tell you right from the start that this actually feels very nice in terms of its construction. There's actually some metal going on in some of the areas, which gives it a nice professional feel to it, including this leather strap right here. And that could just be fake leather, but it feels great when you put your hand around it, you have a nice grip. By the way, this is adjustable, so this could be loosened up or it could be made tighter to make sure you have a nice grip on it. And on the opposite end, we we have the main lens and a laser pointer protected by a dust cover and what you'll find that there's quite a bit of rubberization such as this color right here but also the buttons and that is because this unit is IP54 rated which means it's rated to be water resistant. Also, in addition to this eyepiece, we get a viewfinder on the side, which features a three and a half inch LCD screen with a 270 degree swivel. And I'll show you some video from this a little bit later, but what I wanna show you right now is the swivel range because you can actually turn this completely in this direction and completely in this direction, including turning it towards you and you'll notice that the numbers actually flip so you can read them correctly if you decide to turn the display completely around and as you may have noticed the buttons are backlit which are gonna be great for night use and the rear eyepiece has a nice soft area around it so it's gonna fit comfortably around your eye and there is a diopter adjustment on the side and it's actually quite satisfying to turn this because there's a click every so often so you can turn this in just a small amounts until you find the right spot where you're gonna have the image perfectly in focus. Lastly, on the side of the unit, we also have this dust cover that reveals a USB-C port, which can be used to recharge this unit and also to download the videos and pictures that we might have taken from its built-in 8GB memory. First off, we have an indicator for temperature in the center of the screen. Now, what it is important to know is that that temperature reading is calibrated to be accurate up to a maximum distance of two meters, which is about six feet. Now this is gonna be great for inspection of things that are close to you, such as an engine or perhaps an air conditioning heating vent. But if you're trying to get the temperature of an animal that is further away from you than two meters, it's not gonna be accurate. Not sure why you would wanna do that, but just keep that in mind. And if you do not care to have the temperature reading, you can use that top button to turn it off or on. There's also a digital zoom option with the second button, tapping it once, brings up 2x, tapping it one more time, brings in a 4x zoom, and then tapping it one more time, returns us again to 1x. We also get six presets for displaying the image. Let me show you the colors on the first one. Here's the second one, which reminds me of one of my favorite movies from the 80s, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. And here is the third one, which is more of a night vision look. Here's the fourth one. And here's the fifth one. Notice that now on this particular view, white represents hot, and on this version, black represents hot. And we can also take a picture, tapping this button right here, tapping one more time to confirm. And if we wanted to start recording video, instead of tapping it, I can hold the button down, and it's gonna begin to record a video. As you can see, there is a red dot indicating that we are recording. And when we are done recording, we can just tap this button one more time. And the power button, in addition to turning the unit on or off, can also be tapped. And that is gonna bring up the laser pointer, which is gonna help us to aim this unit. And if I tap this one more time, it turns the laser off. And before I show you the rest of its features, let's take a look at some actual video from it.
And this OK button brings up the menu and I want to show you the temperature range option because it can be set to auto for most uses it's going to be fine but you can also change it to maximum or to minimum temperature. Now what exactly does that do? Well I'm going to show you what that does. I'm going to hit OK on there and I can use the arrow to adjust. Notice that the slider is moving up and that is going to decrease or increase the sensitivity either on the lower range or in the upper range and as you can see now I can only see my hand as opposed to the background. Now this is going to be convenient if you're trying to filter out or uh, lower temperature ranges and if you wanted to really only see high temperature ranges and perhaps potentially allow you to detect things that are hot versus things that are warm, you can continue to decrease that window. Notice how you can only see the center and you can keep going as high as you want over here. So it is nice that we have that kind of flexibility. And you can also use this menu to increase the screen brightness. Right now I have mine roughly about 75%. Also the second icon right here is just another shortcut to the different presets that I showed you earlier, that white hot, black is hot, the iron one, which is my preferred one, rainbow green hot and also the red hot and the next icon allows us to play back the videos or photos as you can see this is a video i'm gonna hit ok i'm gonna hit play and the video begins to play back and photos are the same thing i can just select it hit ok and i can see that photo in full detail and the next icon is measurement where you can turn on or off that measurement shown on the center of the screen and the next one is temperature range which i also showed you that allows us to filter either a maximum temperature or a lower temperature range and the next icon is option and here you can change things like the language of the system and there's quite a bit of languages to choose from in case you wanted to swap that out you can also adjust the date and time but more importantly you can select between fahrenheit or celsius the next one is actually quite interesting because this is the temperature that is shown on the center of the screen and that is because i have enabled that center spot measurement However, I can also enable lowest temperature recorded and highest temperature recorded, which as you can see, will show you both the highest temperature, the lowest, and also that center spot. And we also get a timer in case we wanted to have this unit turned off after a certain period of time, and also enable a timestamp to be shown, and also control the laser manually via this menu, and restore this unit to its factory settings. And as far as battery life, this is equipped with a 4,000 milliamp battery, which Teslong says should last us about 10 hours of use. And here's a couple last things I think you need to know about this unit. And the very first quirk that I found was with the screen, and that is because it comes from the factory with a sort of a screen protector, the normal screen protection that you see on items that have a screen. So I peeled that off, and underneath, I saw what looked like a bubble towards the top. Well, it turns out that Teslong says that that is a actual screen protector. So they said I could peel it if I wanted to or just leave it there. I didn't want to mess with it and I prefer to have my screen protected so I left the screen protector on. But it would be nice if they could put a note on there so people when they get this unit they know that they, it's a screen protector that there's actually nothing wrong with the screen. The second thing that it's kind of an interesting quirk is the focus mechanism and that is because that is done with this accessory that a collar that they have included you could probably reach in there and do it with your fingers, but it's not that easy because it's recessed. So that's where they have this accessory that slides over and now I can turn and focus the unit. Now, how often I'm focusing? Probably not much, but when you need to focus, you need to focus. So the fact that this is a separate accessory makes me believe that I could probably lose it if I'm not careful. So it'd be great to see if they can integrate the focus into this area so we can actually reach in there with our hands as opposed to using this ring. Now the good thing is that the ring kind of snaps in there securely so it's not like it's gonna fall off but I would really like it if this is a one-piece self-contained unit that didn't require me to use a separate accessory to focus it. And one thing that's really interesting regarding thermal imaging is that this can actually cut through dust, smoke, or smog, you can actually see right through it. But you do want to keep in mind that thermal imaging relies on heat, and heat really can go through glass windows. So if you're trying to use this from the inside of the vehicle, you will have to roll down your window. However, if it's foggy outside, 
you will be able to see just fine, which I think is pretty cool. So remember, I placed a link in the description down below to this unit in case you'd like to get one for yourself. And if you have any other questions regarding this, please put that in the comments also. And if you found any part of this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button to support the channel and stay tuned as I have a lot more cool reviews coming up for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.